This is lecture number 18, how to change inspection results after UD and stock posting. This is lecture number 18. This is the special lecture, generally when you have recorded quality inspection results, taken usage decision and posted inspection stock. The system will not allow you to change the inspection results after usage decision. But in this special lecture, we will learn how to change inspection results after usage decision. For this, we have to set a parameter in control indicator section in inspection plan. When you set this parameter in inspection plan for each inspection characteristic, then you can change the results after usage decision. Without this setting you cannot change the results after usage decision and this transaction will apply from next lot or batch after enable of this setting. Let's go for change the inspection results against old lot, as usage decision and stock posting have been completed. Select the materials lot and click the result button, a pop-up message will be appeared. The function you selected cannot be carried out. Now you press detailed info button and read he detail info, here you can see. Short term inspection completed. All inspections completed. Usage decision has been made. Now close the window and click no cancel button. You cannot change the results after usage decision. How to change inspection results after usage decision? For this we have to change the setting in inspection plan for each inspection characteristic. For this we will change inspection plan. We have already learned how to change inspection plan with or without change master record. First we will create change number through change master record and use this change number to change the inspection plan. We have learned this activity in previous lecture. For generating change number, use T code CC01. For change in inspection plan, Use T code QP02. For change in inspection plan, open a new window and write transaction code QP02 in command bar. Enter plant. Enter material number. Enter change number and key date. Then press enter button. A new window will be opened. Inspection plan change operation overview. Select this row and click on Inspection Characteristic button. A new window will be displayed, Change Inspection Plan, Characteristic Overview. Now select Physical Appearance Characteristic and press Control Indicators button. A new pop-up window appeared, Edit Characteristic Control Indicators. Now click on Continue button. Under the miscellaneous heading, Choose long-term inspection by marking check in check box and press continue button. That's it. We have marked check on long-term inspection parameter. Now we can change the results after usage decision. Select all the inspection characteristics and press control indicators button again. Then mark check in long-term inspection check box. Like this. When you create a new inspection plan you must choose long term inspection parameter because this control indicator allow us to change the inspection results after usage decision. It is an optional parameter, you can use it or not, it's depend on your quality inspection requirement. After completion of marking check on long term inspection parameter check box. Press the save button to save the inspection plan. Inspection plan has been updated. Now we will change the inspection results for specific lot. 
whose usage decision was taken and stop posting made. Write the transaction code QA32 in command bar and press enter icon. A new window will be appeared. Inspection lot selection. Under the heading Inspection Lot Selection, we enter Plant, Inspection Lot Origin, Material Number and Batch Number. You can search the materials lot by setting up your own criteria according to your requirement. Enter Plant. Enter Inspection Type. Enter Material Number. Enter Batch Number, if needed. Under the List setting, we will choose third option that is, select only inspection lots with a usage decision. After completion, entries of mandatory fields, press enter button from your keyboard. Then press execute button or press shortcut key F8 from your keyboard. A new window will be displayed, change data for inspection lot, work list for inspection lot. We are going to change inspection results after usage decision, so we will select the materials lot and click on results button. A pop-up window appeared with error message, the function selected cannot be carried out. Now it is the time for some magic. Press back button to return previous window. Select materials lot again and now press usage decision button. A new window appeared, change usage decision, characteristic overview. See the system status, it shows you the mode, it means usage decision has been made for this material. Under the edit button, select reset and then click on inspection completion, you notice that after clicking on inspection completion, the system status has been changed from UD to LTIN. It means that long-term inspection is available to change the inspection results now. Press shortcut key F3 or press back button to return previous window. Now select materials lot again and press results button. Now you can see the difference. The system asking, do you want to carry out long-term inspection? We will press yes button and change the inspection results as per requirement. You have already been learned in the previous lecture number 16 that how to change inspection results. Such as put in process, evaluate and close the results etc. Follow these steps and change the results according to your requirement. Now click on the save button to save the transaction. Select materials lot once again and press usage decision window, then press complete inspection button to complete the long term inspection. The system status changed to UD again from LTIN. Great work! You have changed the inspection results after usage decision and stop posting. This is the end of lecture number 18. In lecture number 19, we will learn how to create manual lot for any material or product.